गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल स्टडी लेसन सेवन मोर ऑन स्क्रैच सो ऑलरेडी अबाउट दिस स्क्रैच वी हैव स्टडी इन आवर प्रीवियस चैप्टर चैप्टर सिक्स सो देर वी स्टडी वाट इज स्क्रैच स्क्रैच इज ए फ्री प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज डिजाइन फॉर चिल्ड्रन टू इनहेंस देयर कंप्यूटिंग स्किल सो अबाउट स्क्रैच देयर ब्लॉग्स सो दैट ऑल रिलेटेड स्क्रैच वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न there is actually in the scratch we know that how many blocks are there in the in the scratch there are total 10 color coded blocks like motion block loop block pen block sound block control block sensing block operators event block so these are the 10 blocks okay and also we have studied there are six different shape block there are total different six shape blocks like hat block stack block boolean block reporter c and cap block so there are total how many shape blocks there are total how many shape blocks so shape blocks is total six okay there are total how many shape blocks total shape blocks is six and how many color coded block that is 10 so already about we have we know about these things okay how many color coded 10 shapes are six what is scratch what say is a uh, pixel size is a pixel size is take pixel size is that 480 pixel wide into 360 pixel high it is divided into x y coordinate so about these things we have studied now some more things we will study in this chapter more on scratch like control blocks sensing blocks operator blocks data blocks about these blocks in previous chapter we did not study so now we will study about this uh, blocks so why we are using this blocks so first uh, uh, first we should know that uh, we have to do like a mathematical operation like uh, addition subtraction division so for this uh, we can apply okay so first of all here we will study control block so see the here control block everyone make decision in daily life yeah of course we all are deciding something we have to take the decision for the every moment of time some some of our decision are so general that we hardly take to, uh, any time to decide some are very general suppose i i'm feeling hungry so what we have to do somebody will offer to eat so simply it is not very hard to say yes i will eat so like that some are very general and very easy to decide Di- difficult situation require more reasoning skill some difficult situations also may have uh, for that we have to uh, think much and much so so for that that will take the that will require more reasoning and skill to solve the problem likewise programming in in a computer language includes logic and decision making okay so in the programming also we have we include the logic and decision making in logic thinking we should first identify the main steps and then work out the details of each step so already you have studied in class 5 there was one chapter step wise thinking okay so step wise thinking means we have to if any problem we have any situation we have and we have to decide we have to follow the step step by step we uh, we have to find out the its a solution then we can uh, control or we can take the decision on the our particular problem so to solve the problem to take the decision we have to solve it in a step by step we have to divide it so there is required reasoning skills okay now look at this this uh, this example you can just see here there is a one triangle one shape is there here is the square here is again how many sides are here 1 2 3 4 5 side here is four side here is three side so likewise it is asking that how many sides will be here so of course here here will be six side so what is the task the first how to step wise thinking lo- logical thinking step in logical thinking so first it is involved that task read problem carefully here three shapes are given what come in the next sequence so this three se- is given so what will what will come in the next so this is the task first we identify the task next is that first we have think about the task next is to identify identify means what is the goal so what are the identification we have to do first goal to find the fourth shape in the 
sequence so what is the my purpose what is the my goal to find out the fourth one what are the information given the sequence of shape is given the these are the information given in the sequence the first shape is three side the second four side and the third fifth side so like this is the information given then after condition we have to see condition is what the sequence the number of side shapes is increased by one so this is the condition that each shape its side is increasing by one so three plus one four four plus one five so its size is increased by one so this is the identity so these are uh, to identify like goal information and condition that we have to identify next is to solve so how we will solve now to achieve the goal by using the information the following step so reasoning is the next step should be size of six so this is the reasoning so what we have done so final thing we will add plus one so this is to find the result to find the goal the, uh, this is the reasoning so solution the work out the solution is step by step so what we have done here you can see as i told that we have to think step by step first we identify the task then after identify this goal information condition then after solve it so this is reasoning so likewise we got the result so scratch provide various blocks enable with logical reasoning and condition programming concept these blocks are color coded gold okay which type it's a color coded gold okay it is gold is a color is see gold color are used to control the sprite so to control the sprite so these are the control so is these are the control scripts so which color of the control block it's a color is golden which color golden and it control the scripts the block allows the program to select an action based upon the user's input let us understand these blocks so it's a color is golden you can see here so now just see here first block is wait one second so this block pause the script for the specified amount of second so here this block will pause for the how many here you can see the time is given one second so this will pause the script for the how many second for the one second suppose two is written here so it will be paused for the two second means that will hold for that particular second okay next is this is the repeat block so this block used to repeat script means in suppose here is the some stacks is there means here we can insert the some stacks some blocks we can insert so that blocks whatever the blocks one two three four how many blocks is there inside that so that will be repeated that will be repeated inside it the uh, a given number of times so here is that suppose 10 is written so that whatever the block inside this so that will be uh, repeated for the that number of times so 10 is here so 10 times it will be uh, repeat so what is the benefit it save lot of time and space okay so same blocks you will write again and again so that will take the space also and time so that will save by this this is called repeat block next is our forever so this forever this block held inside this block will be in a loop never end so whatever the block will be inside it that's a loop will be never end means that will be continuous goes that will be continuous continue to run again and again that will be go go on again and again so that will be not stop so whatever the blocks will be there that will be keep on going okay that will be run continuously so the for this when you want to stop so you have to press this icon so unless the stop button is not click means so that will be run till then it uh, unless we will not uh, use this button otherwise it will be keep on running okay so whatever the bl bl stacks will be inside this forever that will be continue to run but here in the repeat what was that the specified number of steps so there is was 10 so 10 times it will be repeated but in the forever so it will be continuously it will be it it uh, it will run okay next is that if if uh, there is a two types of uh, actually there are two uh, if and then the if and then block execute if blocks written inside it only a specified condition evaluates to true 
if condition is false the script written inside the block will be ignored means this is to just to check that it if condition is given if condition is true then after it will run it will execute it will execute means it will run that will be uh, that will, uh, it will go to the next step if it is true if it is a false then it will be ignored means that will be stop first it will check the condition condition is true then it will go to the next step otherwise if it is a false it will be ignored means stop so this is this block name is if and then next is that if then and else so three are there the script if executed the condition evaluates to true if it is a true as we have done here same if it is a true then it will be executed if it is a false if it is a false then it will also execute but it will come here okay so the script under else is executed means the script under if executed if the condition evaluates to true okay if the it is a true then it will be work over here okay in this section if it is a false then it will come here else and it will work it will execute here okay so in the here in this block if then else here true statement will also uh, execute and false will also execute now here you can here last it was only true statement was executing but here both true and false also next here repeat until okay it repeat the set of block written inside it until the condition evaluates to true means it will repeat means it will repeat means it will check keep on checking okay it will go that uh, for the true statement means it will repeat the set of blocks written inside it until the condition evaluates true means whenever the uh, condition will true whenever the condition will true then it will be stop otherwise it will be uh, continuously it will check uh, check means it will execute to get the true statement okay true condition it repeat the set of block written inside it until the condition evaluates to true means whenever it will be true then it will be stop otherwise it will be keep on checking it will keep on executing that one it will execute continuously so this is the repeat until repeat until block so these are the these these golden blocks come under the control block okay is the putting one inside another is called nesting as i told uh, as i told that whatever the blocks is keeping here so it is not necessary only one block we can keep here we can two three four many blocks we can keep inside this this particular space okay so that more than one blocks when we are keeping inside that that is called nesting that is called nesting okay now next let's just see this example this example is that first of all you have to open the file you know that how to open the scratch file then after you have to change the background this background we have to check the goal one okay you can see here goal one script uh, you will get in the sport category delete the cat because by default you know uh, by default you know that cat is the default one that will be available there so you have to delete this cat sprite and add the soccer ball means this ball you have you have to add okay now you have to reduce the size also you just uh, shrink the size of your sprite then after add new script the script areas so so this script we will write here so this script is that first we will use this one event one flag then after this forever block we have used you can see here this is the four block this is the forever block in this block inside that that you can see here inside this all blocks inside first move 15 step then after touch is turn 5 degree change color by 25 then after here if on the edge it is born so so this is the under this block we have used okay so you see here actually used how many forever this forever block is used you, this one you can see where is the forever this block is be used so now 
you can see the example here you know click on the green flag now when you will uh, click the green flag and observe the ball is moving around the stick so when you will click this one this ball will start moving around this stick and observe that ball and now observe the change in the condition select mouse pointer so here this is the touching this one so here you just change it to make it the mouse pointer you can see here now we have from here i change to the mouse pointer okay so now what will happen again click on the green flag and run script so that will be start running okay so this uh, script will run means this ball will run so observe that what you will observe here you will observe that the ball is moving and changing its a color if you place the mouse cursor on the ball it means when i change it touch by this mouse so now this will actually when i change this mouse button so this these blocks will execute so here this block will execute means that when the mouse pointer is touches so this particular block will execute and this ball color this ball color will change the color of this ball will change when you touch by the mouse pointer when you when you touch by the mouse pointer its a ball color will be changed because we have changed here okay so this is here we use to uh, show the example of control block so this is the example of control block by using this condition blocks okay so this is about the control block you can practice it also and then after to stop here is the stop button you can stop it okay so here is the stop button you can see you know very well here is the stop button this is the stop button you can stop from here okay now next is that sensing block okay so these blocks are color coded light blue which color it has it, it has light blue earlier control block it was the golden color now here sensing block is of which color it is of blue color okay and are used to sense the keyboard input while executing the script okay so first this is ask what is your name so it will ask okay this block promotes the user to type input using keyboard so here it will be asked to you okay it will ask from you that you enter your name okay so like here what is your name so that will ask what is your name to enter the your the answer by you by using the keyboard okay next is touching mouse pointer just we have used in that uh, last example touching mouse pointer so here it's used because it was the sensing sensing block that we used in the last example here here you can see here is the touch mouse pointer this block we have used here this is now what is this block this block check if sprite is touching the mouse pointer is or another is sprite if the sprite is touching the selected object the block returns true if if it is not the returns false means as we have used here mouse pointer so it will decide that if it will touch touch means we can use like mouse pointer this this option will be there you can set this mouse pointer or edge or another sprite so these options are available there so you can choose another sprite means it will touch to the another sprite if you use the two or three uh, sprite in your program so if will be touch each other so that will give the true statement so that will return true and it will work for the true means when whenever it will be true it actually it function like this whenever it this block will be true so it will it will move to here means this two will execute when it will be true this two will execute when it will be not true it will not execute okay now next touching color okay this block check whether its a sprite is touching a specified color if it is the block returns true means a specified means color means there i have given suppose here the yellow color so yellow means when the sprite will touch the yellow color means this yellow color this this color will touch the who sprite when this color will touched by the sprite so it will give the true means 
statement is true so that will move to the name for the next education of the blocks okay that will move the further so whenever this color will touch by the sprite so this is the use of touching color okay it means that it uh, that sprite will sense that particular color suppose i choose the black here so whenever the, your block will move suppose i have choose here this purple color is there okay and this is your sprite and this is your sprite uh, this is your sprite okay and it is moving when this sprite will this sprite will touch to this purple color okay so it will give the true statement okay and it will move for the next education so this is about the sensing color change uh, touching color okay it will sense the color so that's why it is the sensing block that's why they, these are the sensing block okay next is that color is two colors are there actually there is the actually one is the red okay another is the deep red so the block check whether the color on a sprite is touching another color if it is the if it is the block returns true if blocks check whether the color on its sprite is touching another color okay so one color so two colors are there so this color will touch to the this color so this will give the this blocks will give the true okay this block will return the true statements okay this block will check whether the color on this sprite is touching another color so this particular color this particular color is touching this color or not okay if it will this particular color means color to color it is comparing between color to color this particular color will test to that particular color so that will give the true okay now next is that key space pressed the block check if the specified key is pressed if the key is being pressed the block returns true means for this key this is again sensing block when you press the space key means suppose you have uh, assigned the space key you can also there will be option like up and down key left and right key so here is the specified space key so whenever you press the uh, this particular space key a specified key so whatever the key is here inside that key we have given so that will means when you press that key so it will give the true statement means true it will return the true otherwise false okay so this is about the sensing block okay now you can see here also to get this color means suppose any color is not there so that uh, that you can also this particular color you can select from the swatch okay by this swatch to select now next is that yeah here yeah. first you uh, scratch 2.0 has six operator boolean block and 11 operator reporter block so very important how many six okay so six operator block six operator block and 11 operator there is a total six operator boolean block and 11 operator reporter block so how many reporter 11 six boolean six boolean block and 11 reporter block okay this number you should learn okay now some example of this sensing block so we will change the open the scratch program and there you just uh, delete this cat because cat is by default and you just choose another one like kai sprite its the name is there okay from the people folder also choose the costume of that okay after selecting this uh, block you write down this is the event one then ask where i should go this block you can use sensing block say answer for the 2 second okay so time is there says 2 second as we have used in the control block okay so it will wait for to the and it will the give the result okay say for 2 second no next you can see here so how it will work so see this person will ask where i should go okay so here is the you will get this to write the answer by the using keyboard and press enter so whatever the answer you will write here so that will be again displayed so here the, you can see the answer is here to my friend place okay so first it will show that because of this here is written 
वेर आई शुड गो सो दैट विल बी शो हि यू कैन सी वेर शुड आई गो ओके ओके वेन यू विल प्रेस ओवर हियर वेर शुड आई गो दैट विल बी डिस्प्लेड ओवर हियर वेर आई शुड गो एंड देन आफ्टर यू कैन सी हियर टू माई फ्रेंड हाउस सो वट एवर आंसर यू राइट हियर दैट विल बी डिस्प्लेड हियर ओके बाय द की बोर्ड यू कैन राइट इट ओके सो दिस इज द प्रोग्राम यू कैन प्रैक्टिस इट ओके सो ये आल्सो यू नो लेट्स नो मोर वेन ए वर्ड इज सेव्ड ए वेरिएबल इट इज कॉल्ड स्ट्रिंग वेरिएबल वेन ए वर्ड इज सेव्ड एज ए वेरिएबल दैट इज कॉल्ड स्ट्रिंग वेरिएबल ओके सो दिस यू कैन प्रैक्टिस इफ यू हैव दिस प्रो स्क्रैच सॉफ्टवेयर योर कंप्यूटर यू कैन प्रैक्टिस दिस थिंग्स ओके सो after writing this one you can just press the green flag and enter and all that so this program will run so in next class we will study operators block okay